Hello. How you guys doing? Hope everyone's having a very good Friday. Uh, what's your other favorite colors of the Cycle 8? I mean, they're all kind of nice. I think personally though, if I was gonna go for this board, believe it or not, I'd go for something very standard like silver. This is a fun color, but I don't know how long I'd actually use this for. If I can buy a new t-shirt, the one I'm own is getting a bit worn. Oh man, dude, I'm wearing it right now. Let me show you guys, look. It's embroidered and everything. <laughs> What's up guys? Hope everyone's having a good, uh, a good Friday. Is it considered night? It's night, right? What's up, Saul? What's up, cousin? What's up, Megan? Uh, what's up, Dane? What's up, Punk? Fit? Uh, Globe? How you doing, Kang? What's up, everybody? Gray Cycle 8 uh, seems to work with the Brutalist aesthetic. Yeah, and because it kind of has this, like, this step design, if you end up going with this one here, I feel like it works, you know? I'm going to order one of each at least. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. He said my name, Punk. Don't even stress, bro. I love you, buddy. Is that a new desk pad? No, no, this is the other color. Uh, let me show you guys. I thought this went well with the desk, the desk, the keyboard today. Is this too much? Like, is this just too much green? I don't know, I feel like this looked good. Or is it just enough green? It's a new desk pad, I would say it's new. Yeah, it's, it's a new desk pad, but just different color. I don't know. For me, it's a bit much. Do we change it up? Do I switch back to the gray one? Two blue, as long as you like it, it's the perfect amount. Hmm. Should we switch it back? Let's see how it would look. I'll let you guys be the judge. The other one is, everyone keeps telling me it's gray, but I don't, man, I fucking think it's green. Maybe I'm just colorblind or something. Let's see, let's see. Let's, uh, let's change it up a little bit here. It does look sweet on the desk like that though, with the cement kind of top there, you know what I'm saying? It does look pretty cool that way. All right, let's put back this one here because you know what? This one here might work better with it. Let's see. Does it work a little better with it? Much better? Okay, 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 okay. Also check this out guys. So, I finally got the samples and I'll show you like one at a time. The world has to GQ. know, what does it feel like to look in the mirror and always see the reflection of that beautiful face? Ah, oh, dude. JQ, you're too nice, man. You're, oh God, I almost knocked my glasses off. You're too nice, dude. JQ, thank you so much for the tier three, bro. I don't know what they even say to that. Oh my God, dude, this Tamagotchi all day long. So here, here is the, this color. I thought this worked really well. Pretty cool. And then, there's this one, which turned out super nice. Me and Angel did this. We had this, uh, this design prep for a little bit. So we, we got a whole bunch of stuff done with this kind of stuff. And we plan to do a bunch more of like just fun little cute character design stuff. I, I was really curious because they offered, we saw this and I was like, dude, I really want like a really nice thing to carry. Not even just keyboards, but we got these made too, little tote bags in orange. And then they have like little pockets on the inside. It's pretty nice. So, pretty cool. And then I got sweaters done too. But the totes, I think the tote, believe it or not, is actually my fucking favorite. I wasn't too sure on the tote, so I had disabled them um, until I got samples in, because I was like, what if these are ass in person and they're actually super nice. Uh, technically it's live now, but I'm not gonna link it right now, just cause, you know what? Believe it or not, we're gonna just focus on the keyboard today. Drop the link. I mean, you guys can probably find it, it's real easy, but uh, it's okay, we're not gonna focus on that. Will there be darker colors of those? Yeah, yeah, there's gonna be darker colors too. I'm actually wearing the green one right now, if you guys can see. I think this, believe it or not, I've been loving like dark green shirts lately, and just green in general. Um, so this is my favorite. 
I'm gonna see if they can do custom done colors. I wouldn't mind like a bright orange shirt with like a, a black logo. I think that would be super neat. But we do have a black, it's more of like a, it's more like a dark gray. It says black, but dark gray. Is the design just in the back? No, that design is on the front. There, there's two separate shirts. I submitted my review paper, which I wrote in my final semester of Arvix. It's not a revolutionary paper, but I submitted it because it might help me get a job. Zany, I hope so. I really do, dude. Uh, polycarbonate Alex shirt, when polycarb? Okay, okay. I like that green, me too. I have two really nice green shirts now. Um, yeah, yeah, Megan, if you, if you have them already, a few people got stuff early. I've made some tweaks to some of the things, but everyone who got one early, man, I can't thank you enough. Oh, you know what fit? I can't remember if this considered, I think this is Moss, I think. Uh, this man looking very good. Elquan, also, 24 hours into using this board almost, guys. I like it a lot. It's good. I think I'm very happy with it so far. I haven't run into any issues. Has it been two days? Oh shit, you're right. Maybe it has been two days. I haven't run into any issues. Oh yeah, you're right. I didn't do anything yesterday on stream. My bad, guys. Um, yeah, no issues so far. It's a, it's a good board. The front height's nice to type on. Like, I'm enjoying typing on it. So, no issues so far at all. I haven't had any, like, PCB issues, anything like that. Like, just, it's good. Um, I don't know if I'd use aluminum. I, I was thinking, though, because I didn't get any to try. I really don't know if I'd recommend this board with the aluminum battery cover. Uh, I think the aluminum battery cover might be too resonant. You probably need to at least get the, <laughs> thanks, Fried. You at least need to get the, um, what's it called? Stainless steel battery cover or the weight. I Like the board without the weight already has a bit of resonance to it. So I, I'm worried that this is gonna be super resonant if it doesn't have any um, weight inside of it. But thank you, thank you, Fried. I appreciate it, dude. Did I miss the build? No, we haven't even started. Actually, they sent over this keycap set, which I don't know if I'm gonna use, but I love the box art so much on this. Let me show you guys this. I think the box art was just super neat. I don't know, this is what, um, SXM Designs? I'm not too familiar with them, but it's a pretty basic set. I think this is just PBT. I don't know if there was any, let me see actually. I didn't really look at this too close. Was there any, oh, there's fun novelties. Dude, why is, I'm not gonna lie guys. I've been kind of inundated with Halloween stuff. Anything Halloween, I'm loving it that I get to see so many Halloween things, but I'm also super confused as to why I feel like everyone's doing Halloween stuff and it's middle of July. <laughs> I don't get it. So, what are my thoughts on the Mr. Taxi now that you've had it for a little bit? Um, It was a good board. Like I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think the aesthetic is not gonna be for everyone. Uh, the Mr. Taxi, I think, is for a specific group of people who like that particular design. Also, the colors of this are really pretty. It's like a burgundy and cream. And then they have like a, they have a bit of a different mod color here, so it's not just like a, a single monocolored set. It's a smidge different. I believe this is PBT as well. So, yeah, okay, I'm into this. This is a cool set. Uh, but yeah, I think the Taxi is definitely. It has to be your cup of tea or else you're just really gonna hate it, design-wise. Other than that, it was a huge step up in terms of the Navi. The Navi was not my favorite board. But I mean, like, I'm pretty positive. You guys kind of gathered that by me saying that it wasn't really my cup of tea. I bought the NK gift card on 20% off to buy upcoming GMK Singularity. The gift card does not have a val- uh, val- the, the, What do you mean by that, Zany? Do you mean, like, it, it won't- it won't- it shouldn't expire. As far as I know, they don't. Um, okay, Dad got my order in, two shirts and a sweatshirt. Thank you, way too lucky. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, guys. Yeah, I mean, the PCB on the Navi was its weakest link. So, I will admit though, this Matrix board was a lot better. The Margo. So, the Margo is very interesting. This has to be one of, also thanks to everyone who purchased, guys. I really appreciate the, the purchases for the 
uh, for the shirts and stuff. I appreciate it, guys. The Margo is beautiful. This has to be one of KBD fans' prettiest keyboards. Shell gas station? Yeah, I can, I can see that a little bit. But this definitely has to be one of their prettiest keyboards, straight up. Like, hands down, I don't think they've made a, a better looking keyboard. Um, or whoever the designer is. I didn't really see if the, who was the designer. But price point on this is also, oh my God, my, my voice is cracking. The price point on this is also not terrible at 245. <clears throat> uh, you can get either an aluminum, F4 or polycarbonate. It comes in a whole bunch of different colors with a really cool finishes. The best thing about this, my camera's freaking out, is you guys will actually, you guys will see, but it has really nice side bezels, everything like that. Um, we'll see what some of the accessories this comes with, but they, they really did a great job with this. Is the PCB included though? As far as I know, let me see. I think it was included, because sometimes on their website, it will say this is not included. But as far as I know, it should be included in that price. Um, I mean, it doesn't say it's not, and I can see that it says PCB on the bottom there. So I would make the assumption that it comes with. Yeah, I don't see anything that it doesn't. I was also wondering the same thing, but yeah, in Cure, it includes PCB, case, plate, weight bar, mute silicone, bottom foam, screwdriver, rubber feet. So everything you, everything you guys see here today, which is good. Now, the only thing I don't, this is the part I didn't quite understand about this board. Um, they have a pre-order for some colors, or I guess maybe just the polycarbonate. So I'm not too sure if they're gonna be rolling stock of this board because it's pretty much like it only launched today and it's there's only like 40 units total. Uh, I don't know if it's already sold through or, but there's not a whole hell of a lot of these, which is a bit unfortunate. So I hope this is a rolling stock product where they've just plan to do a second batch. But uh, 245 to 255 seems to be the price point for this. And here is the board from the top. So some things immediately, even just from visual presentation of the, the top of the keyboard here, thin side bezels. I eat this stuff up. This is like my favorite design of a board. I think it makes it look super elegant. Love, love, love that with the thicker forehead and thicker chin over there. I think it's beautiful. Stepped internals, which I think we saw in the Pavlov as well, with this little bit of a weight bar on the on the inside as well. Beautiful internals here. I'm I'm hoping this helps deflect a lot of the sound in, in good ways, but gorgeous, right? And then this is where this board really shines. We'll take a look at the side profile. Look at that. This is the mocha color. Look at this. Like this is gorgeous. Like I said, this is definitely one of the prettier boards that I've seen from them. Visible hardware, you know, I mean, uh, the adhesive feet or whatever, but like, damn. And I don't know if you guys can really tell, but like this has shape to it. This is not just like some random badge they kind of just threw on. Like you can see the way it deflects the light here or refracts the light rather, or I don't know what the right word here is, but it looks great. It has a decent weight to it as well. You know, you have this little bit of a taper here happening on the back, which makes it look good. And then same thing with the side over here. Guts that premium kind of side, 18 and a half front height. So from a spec perspective here, gorgeous. Like this is, this is one of my favorite offerings to date visually. So I don't know about the sound because we haven't actually looked at it yet. So absolutely awesome. Who is Margo? I don't really understand the namesake of this board. So don't hate me on that, but. Uh, imagine if they had an amolite like finish for the weight. How would that look? What even is that? This was teased years ago as the KBD67 Heavy, which is why KBD67 light internals fit. That would make sense, but I think I think they do have like some pretty universal stuff that they try to work around. Gorgeous though, guys. Absolutely gorgeous keyboard. You know, it has a lot of if you guys are into like, you know, it sounds weird, but you know, that physical tactile feeling of touching your keyboard too when you want to pick up your board and do stuff, this has that too, so. This is Margo. Margo soap. Oh my God, Zany. Gorgeous though. Absolutely stunning. What do you guys think? There's some gorgeous colors, by the way. There is some gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I would love to see what the polycarbonate looks like in person. 
Um, but there's E-White with like a blue-black kind of uh, finish for this. Burgundy. Burgundy's not my favorite, not going to lie. The Mocha, which is what I have. Uh, even the Anodized Black. Like, that looks super slick. And normally, I find you have to do a... You have to do a... Especially E-White and Black. E-White and Black, to me, lately have been kind of boring. Uh, so if you do them right, you can hit it out of the park. And I think they they nailed it with the uh, Anodized Black color here. Silver's okay. I would have preferred more of like a PVD finish, or not PVD rather, but more of like a silver finish. I think this is too contrasty for my liking. The deep purple, dark purple is gorgeous as well. And the anodized gray has to be my second favorite. The linen's really pretty too. Uh, it's basically a 67 light with a different case. Would have liked to see actual good mounting style. I mean, I don't, I'm not gonna knock the way the keyboard sounds yet. Sometimes mounting styles work great depending on how you lay out the internal or structure of the case too. So I'm not going to knock it yet. Um, at the end of the day, like I'm not expecting anyone to reinvent the wheel when it comes to mounting cells. So we'll see how it, uh, how it performs sound wise, but man, this is a pretty looking board. It, it really is though. Actually, let's see what it looks like on the side here too. I'm actually thinking of waiting on this board or just buy the mode Envoy slash Universe. Looking forward to this stream build. Yeah, I mean, we'll see how it sounds and whatnot, too. Look at that. Look how gorgeous this thing is, man. Oh, this goes super well with the desk pad today. Uh, we'll take a look. I have not opened up the accessories. This is my first time seeing the board, so we'll take a look. This is uh, my first time looking at it in person as well. You guys know how I normally do things here. Uh, screws, more screws, standoffs, which I'm not going to use. Yeah, it uses the V3 KBD67 PCB, which I'm, I'm not mad about. I still wish, what my, my, my big thing for KBD fans is giving us an option for solderable units. I know they're not popular anymore. I hope they come back because I think they're awesome. Uh, but there's just not a lot of layout options for this. And I, I'm not going to lie, like, I, I kind of do wish they just, opened up the PCB a little bit. Like just offer a 7U spacebar, offer something. KBD fans has been killing it with some of the board designs, like even just picking up great designers like the Pavlov and everything, but they've been really, really dropping the ball on PCBs. It's just the one thing I kind of dislike about them. We have some plate options, we have silicone. I am probably not gonna touch the silicone unless you have to use it. I don't think that's the case. Or is it the case? We'll see. Uh, and then we have our plate. We have bottom foam over here, and then we have some other plates. We'll see if we have to use the silicone. We'll quickly peruse through this. Therak, thank you very much. So nice. I you think you have to use it. Let's see. It does look like they're making you almost forced to use it here, which if that's the case, that's a bonehead move. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty, pretty silly move to, to force to use plate silicone here. Because you can see where they have the mounting tabs, which is silly, and they could have just avoided this by using gaskets. Which I'm not gonna lie. I might not even use this. I might just go dive deep into my closet to see if I can find some spare gaskets and just say screw it, because I really don't want to use this. If this is how they're selling this, this is silly. They take this beautiful, beautiful looking case, absolutely stunning, and then you're just forced to use silicone. Hmm. That is, they're very, very unfortunate. I say we use the aluminum for this. So I guess, how do you guys want me to build this today? Should I, should I just bite the bullet and use the silicone or? I don't think gaskets would work with that plate. I mean, it has mounting points here. I'm not too sure if they line up with the case, which if they don't, again, why not just design it to do so? I feel like they should have just done that. With silicone? I mean, we can try anyways. This will probably turn off a whole lot of people, by the way. If KBD fans ends up reviewing this VOD, this will probably turn off a few people from this board, you know? But let's see, let's open up the case and see. Again, man, this board is, it's just a good looking keyboard. 
So unfortunate if you're forced to use silicone. Uh, where is my screwdriver? I had you like two seconds ago. Oh, there you are. Nope, I need my bits. Mm, actually, we'll use the screwdriver today. Where's pancake when we need to get this changed? I need pancake here ASAP. I mean, we could cut out the, the uh, internals, but I feel like that might make the gaskets a little unstable. Uh, if there's no way to mount this without the silicone, it's a hard pass. That totally understandable. It just feels like you're really shooting yourself in the foot by forcing people to build it one particular way. Because I will say this, and I stress this with all my heart, it's a custom keyboard hobby, right? I understand there's still some customizability with this, but you're really limiting people from, you know, what they can and cannot do. Do I need, what bit is this? I cannot see. Oh. You're really limiting people. Cause this is, again, such a pretty case design. I've been so excited for this particular case for some time now. Uh, silicone would be between, so this that would really mute the sound of the keyboard. But we'll see what we can do. Let me open this up and see what's inside. Hope you had an amazing day. I'm gonna be honest, my day was just okay today, guys. Um, I woke up today, I worked, I'd say, practically until like dinner time. And then after dinner, I took five minutes to, well, not even. I was actually excited because the uh, samples of the clothes came in today. So I went to go do a whole bunch of like backend stuff uh, for my website. So that was, I mean, that was entertaining to say the least. So I feel like this is an old design for a couple of years ago that was suddenly made this year, but they didn't bother to upgrade. I mean, they're gonna feel that with, I mean, people might even just pick this up because they don't care. Maybe they want a foamy or silicone build, and that's totally fine, by the way. There's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like for a lot of people, the lack of customizability with what you can do here might be a big turnoff. Now, did the KBD, did the KBD 67 Lite force you to use silicone? It's been a long time since they built one of those. And I don't remember if they made you use silicone for that. Light forced you to use it? Ah, oh, shoot. Yeah, see like they got this cool step design in the bottom, which, you know, I've learned from a bunch of designers and after talking to a bunch of people, oop, my camera, this step design really helps reflect sound very nicely. Uh, but yeah, you can see that it might not actually work with the plate. Let's see. You can see where this slots in. Uh, are there PCB plate mount options? So there's plate options, but unfortunately, we might be forced to use silicone here, which is, or hold on a second, guys. I have this right. Maybe, maybe we can get away with not using silicone. How does this slot into the top? Some people bought third-party gaskets for the QB67 Lite. Yeah, I mean like, so this slots in, there's still plate tabs. Ooh, I think we can get away with this. I know this is not truly a great review because we're not gonna use the silicone, but I'm gonna be honest guys, like I can already faithfully tell you this. I am probably not gonna like the silicone. I've built with plenty of silicone. I don't think there's ever been a silicone, you know, plate insert that I've ever liked. If you guys want, because I think there's gonna be tons of reviews on this board using the silicone. Um, would you guys like me to just do my own thing and just kind of build this with, you know, whatever gasket strips I have lying around? Uh, not too sweet. Thank you so much for the tier one. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, dude. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna do my own thing because I, if it really just comes down to you can salvage this board by buying like a $4 add-on of like, you know, gasket strips, and this board sounds incredible, then I'm here for it. I'm thinking we stick with aluminum. What do you guys think? I've never heard a board with silicone. Do you have other vids with it? Somewhere in my collection of stuff. I don't, how would you guys describe the sound of silicone between the plate and PCB? Yeah, this hobby is very much about modding and believe it or not, you know, 
I'm not, uh, I'm not saying the silicone was a good choice or anything, but yeah, mushy and muffled, but KBD Fairings was one of the brands I started with because it was, you know, one of the cheaper things you could buy. Okay, Tamagotchi, I promise I'll take care of you. But you could, you could do a lot of like modding with their stuff, so. Bro, why you look, why you all tanned up, oiled and stuff? I've gotten a lot of sun over the last few days. Um, only because it's been so warm and I have to go back and forth to do, <laughs> you know, product deliveries and stuff, so. Don't forget your sunscreen. I worn it like twice, I more than I normally do, so. I think we'll do aluminum. Let me go see, actually, you know what? Let's just assemble everything first. It's hot swap, so worst case scenario, I just put the silicone in afterwards if we can't get this to work, but. Did you make merch? I did. Why is my music stopped? There it goes. Worst case scenario, we just salvage this with the silicone, but I don't think we need to. I think we can get this to work with some sort of gaskets. Someone mentioned two mil. I'm gonna be honest, I'll just probably use what I have lying around, but let's get some stabs. Um, and see the PCB one more time. Again, KBD fans, if you happen to watch this one day, because I feel like I've said this in every review with their PCBs, please. Bite the bullet and just design a PCB with more options here. Or just offer a soldable unit. I, I really don't see that taking much. I feel like they use a lot of these KBD67 PCBs. I'm sure at one point they probably thought of a solderable unit, but as of right now, you get literally no extra options here. It's very fixed, which again, this might be your thing and you might be like, hell yeah, this is great. But a little bit of a bummer when it comes down to this kind of stuff. All right, let me get some stabs real quick. Let's just use some cherry clip-ins for today. Some tried and true cherry clip-ins. No 7U in 2024 is cringe. They're just reusing the PCB, which I respect, it's fine. But again, just... Holy shit, the design is being fumbled multiple ways. The internals are a bit fumbled, yes. Dare I say, maybe moderately fumbled. Obviously not fumbled to the point where this keyboard's unusable. So that's why I'm saying moderately. But I will say that this keyboard, oh, I guess I don't need this. I need a 6.25. But I feel like this is completely salvageable at this point. Like you can just rework this. It seems to have plate tabs. So it just includes some, uh, includes some gaskets in the box. I don't see why that would hurt anybody. If we can get it to work today, then they have no excuse not to do gaskets inside the box. You know what I mean? Absolutely none. Which is still fine. They can offer the silicone, you know? Totally, totally fine. They just restocked on Cherry Clip and Cinemix Blacks. The world is healing. Who did? Every time I see you take out those stabilizers, I wonder where, what are they and how, where do I get them? These stabs? They're Cherry Clippins. Um, I ordered them in bulk. Is that thunder? That was fucking loud, dude. Did you guys hear that? Sorry, that was me. Oh, fuck. My bad, Adam. I didn't mean to call you out like that. Is it raining? Impending storm? Hold on, let me see this. Holy shit. Dude, I swear to God, it was like sunny like an hour ago. No, 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 it's, it's thunder. It's thunder and lightning. Been a bit gassy recently. What have you been eating, Adam? It's a little stormy right now. Damn, that was uh, pretty quick to get stormy. Um, let me just quickly grab a desk pad so I don't ruin this one. Where did I put the little quirk desk pad now? Or oh, you know what, I'll just use the case here. We'll just build it on top of the case. Where can I see the merch? Okay, I'll, I'll give you guys the link. I, I didn't really want to make it about merch stuff today, but I'll give it to you guys if you guys want. I feel very weird promoting things that I do, if you guys already didn't know. I don't know why. I feel like I'm not deserving of the attention in that sense. This is not my keyboard. But uh, here, I'll get you guys the link real quick. 
Is this board in TKL or FRL? It is just a 65%. 65% layout. Um, here it, oop, is this the right key for this? <laughs> it's really cool. It even like tells you when you're live on the web, like the website for, oh, thank you cousin. I appreciate that. Camera's fucking bugging today. No, it's cause it, dude, I think it's these desk pads. <laughs> The camera does not like these desk pads. I don't know why it is, but it sees all these lines and it's just like, I'm fucking confused, dude. So I think we'll just leave it like this and it shouldn't bug out anymore. Uh, did you see my glare? Did you get a glare, Elquan? Guys, I need a 60% board. Any suggestions? What's in stock for 60s right now? What is in stock? Like what's a good 60 that's in stock? Thoughts on the trackpad for a few days? Trackpad's been amazing. I actually tried to use this again today, just to be honest with you guys, like that's why it's on right now. I tried to use this because I had to do a bunch of editing and I am not kidding you guys. I got frustrated from using this thing and tossed it to the side because like I just, you know when you can't do like a small little action, like I don't know how to describe this. I'm very fun, like I'm not great with minor actions or whatever, like small little actions with my hands. So sometimes I get frustrated with myself because I can't do it. Like it's just, it's my own thing, it's personal, whatever. But with this too, I was struggling today just moving the mouse in a certain direction. I kept screwing up the healing tool. So I just like shoved it to the side. I'm like, I'm so over this. And I just use the trackpad. Cause I was like, let me just give it one more go before I like completely write this thing off. But yeah, dude, it was, I'm not gonna lie, it was so frustrating, dude. I gave up like almost immediately. Also, thank you guys for all the, the love and support today, guys. I really, really appreciate everything you guys do. Thank you, thank you. Uh, are you gonna sell it or just throw it? Um, I'm just gonna see if my parents want it or something or someone that I know wants it that maybe doesn't have a good mouse already. I don't know, but it's been a frustrating experience. Can I try it? The Ergo? Damn, wait till you want me to ship it to you? Lick it and put it up for auction. Okay, dude. Apple Magic Trackpad in yellow? Oh, um, don't they make only one in white and I think space gray? Can we get an Alex photo shoot with the merch? I don't know how to, like I would 100% do that, but I don't really have anyone here to take pictures of me. I'm not gonna lie guys, like I don't really know many people. Most of my friend groups are online. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really like have that for you guys, unfortunately. Whoa, with photographers? Yeah, I guess so. Can I, can I, wait, can the keyboard take photos of Alex? Hmm. That'd be nice for once. The embroidered t-shirt is dope. I think I'm gonna snag one. Yeah, yeah, if you guys wanna see it again, like it's, I have it on. I like both, I'm not gonna lie. I think the green out of all the colors happens to be my favorite. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just I'm vibing with green these days. And then the second favorite one I have is that cream and orange one. That's the, the next best one for sure. Where the fuck is my brush? <coughs> no, not on these ones here. I didn't want to put anything on the back. I just wanted these ones here to be like super simple. What do you think of the SWK Ghost Dragon switches? Um, If you're feeling like they're sluggish, honestly, maybe it's just the pre-lube application on it. I haven't ran into any issues with the SWK switches having bad pre-lube on it, but dude, you never know. Sometimes you get bad batches of these things, but I have not had any SWK switches do that. But it just sounds like if it is sluggish, it could be just a fact that it's a little bit over lubed, which is not good, right? But have I ever used dbrand? You can get a skin that would make your, oh, I could recolor this for sure. Um, I've never actually put skins on anything. I was considering getting a skin for my camera just to keep it like, you know, in good shape. 
but I also don't know how I feel about putting a skin on anything. I feel like it's not really my style. Um, container for switches? Dude, Beldoink. Wait, Ikea is open at this time? Enjoy, Beldoink. Nice, simple, clean design. I'm uh, so uh, not interested in the... Uh... Wait, what happened, Grid? What is, what is that word? I've never heard it. Ostentatious. What does that mean? Sorry, my, uh, my vocabulary is not that big. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, and, and then I think the other design that we and me and Angel did, I just kind of wanted to do something for fun, like that little keycap kind of guy. So I wanted to do something that's like nothing to do with me at all. And then, I don't know, it was just fun. I wanted it on a design, so. <clears throat> do you have any specific ideas where excess lube could... So, the biggest thing that you could have a lot of lube in Check above the switch rail, and then the other area too, eh boy? And this is the part that's extremely difficult to clean. It could be inside the stem hole, like that little hole where the, the stem fits into. Check to see if there's like just an excessive lube in there because it, it may be clogged up and cause some, un, like even though it's lube, it could also cause this like suction-like effect, um, which could, slow down the switch, make it slow to press, feel sluggish, create weird sounds. Uh, the only way that I uh, that I can tell you that as a quick fix is just to clean the pole. I know it sounds weird, but just kind of get like a paper towel and just like clean the poles of all the stems. It'll wipe off enough lube. It's not it's not a fix, but I knew I knew someone was going to say ha. Huh. I I fucking knew it, dude. I knew it, bro. Guys, don't be sus. I knew it, dude. I knew this was coming. Absolutely. Is the merch live yet? It is. It is. I finally got the samples in today and I was, I did all the little minor things I need to fix. And then I've been completely happy with it. I got it this morning. Very, very, very happy with it. It's uh, it turned out great. It's all very good quality too. Wet hole problems? Oh my gosh. But we're using fourth wall because I've, I've had a lot of people recommend them and they have some some good stuff. So I'm very happy with it. <clears throat> no sus here? Oh my goodness. So what are you guys doing by the way tonight? Is anyone gonna play some games and just chill? I feel like tonight, tonight is the perfect chill day. So I'm still waiting on an email back about the orange shorts. I've been asking a whole bunch of different companies because like with fourth wall, you can also just list your own products. Um, has anyone done the gift to Twitch chat? I don't think it'll work to be, on, be honest, Adam. I don't think our, the, the stream labs thing picks up any of that stuff. But uh, Dude, it's crazy how a lot of these brands, like they just don't want to do like custom color shorts. Shorts are like the one thing people don't really do a whole lot of. I'm probably just gonna get them custom made and then just list them myself eventually, but. So what brand my shirts are being printed on? Um, custom color, or was it, what is it again? Custom colors? Comfort colors, my bad. Comfort colors, I'm very happy with the comfort color stuff. This feels really good. It's a good feeling shirt. Are they hot swap? Which ones are? Maple Story Dailies, also Kana finally getting much needed buffs. Dude, you saying that is bringing back a flood of memories right now. Absolutely, absolutely so many memories, dude. Three days ago you recommended the GR3, but in terms of quality, is it still a good choice or could I stick with my S23 Ultra? You wanna know the, the answer to that? It's a great camera. I think you'll really enjoy it. And if you're if you're wanting to get into something like photography without using your cell phone, because I personally hate using my cell phone for photos. I'm just, I'm very adamant about having different devices for things. Uh, it just makes devices feel more intentional, uh, more intentional rather. I think you'll really enjoy it. However, if you find yourself not caring too much about bringing another device around, you're probably not gonna want it. 
and you'll probably be so happy with your phone. Again, it's just another device. You have to really want to kind of get into it a little bit too. Like, and you might want to start the editing process. Who knows what you want to do, but you're just going to have to want to bring another device around. In my opinion, if it's just for once in a blue moon and you're not even sure if you're going to like it, it's an expensive buy, you know? But if it's something that you're dead set, like, yes, I really want this thing, then I would say get it. You'll probably really enjoy the process of taking photos with the Rico. I loved it when I had it. Uh, is there a time limit on this merch? Because I need to put up... Um, I am going to be keeping it for about six months on their live. And then me and Angel are probably going to cycle through designs. Um, I'll be honest. I think I'll probably just keep it up for a while. Like, I don't think there's a reason to make it limited. So, but everything is done with the exception of the sweater is done in comfort colors. <clears throat> Just street photographer, uh, photography. When I saw something cool, I, sh I shot it, but I saw the focus isn't that good on the camera. Well, the camera is very processed. You know what I mean? They're very, very processed. So what size am I rocking? I'm five foot 10 and I'm wearing a large. And I would say this is exactly what I like. Fit wise, maybe I would maybe get an extra large if I wanted something a bit more uh, oversized, but. Thank you, Liv. Appreciate it, dude. I appreciate you, Liv. Uh, probably have the most viewing hours here of any streamer on Twitch. Oh my God, Liv, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, guys. I still sling around my XT1 because it just has that vibe. You're five foot 10, Alex, you're so tall. Hey, you know what? Five foot ten, not bad height. You know what I'm saying? Not quite six foot, but I'm six foot on a good day. Uh, yeah, I, st I still bring around my camera. Like, even if I don't end up shooting with it at all, sometimes it just stays strapped around my neck because you never know. But I mean, you could be in that boat where you just want to take photos. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I, I personally think it's just really important to have creative hobbies. So... I remember, what was it? A little while ago, it was, it was like a health, it was something health wise. And I had to take like an interview for it. It was the other day, actually. I don't remember what, what, what the fuck was it for? Anyways, I had to do like a health thing. And then they said, how tall are you? And I went quiet and I said, who's asking? <laughs> and I don't think anyone was amused. I got one of those like fake laughs, like the ha. Huh? But I don't know, I laughed. I thought it was a funny joke. So. Join? Join what? What are we joining? Lame? What are we joining? Gift to chat? What the fuck are you guys seeing that I'm not seeing? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. How come I don't see nothing? Oh, stream elements. Stream elements, Esteban. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's for 60 seconds. Oh, thank you, Esteban, I appreciate that. I'm not gonna lie, professional, I've never seen this before, so this is the first time I've seen that. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much, Esteban. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wait, who won? Wait, 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 pause, 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 pause. Who won? Pause. Adam did? All right, I gotta do this. Slash ban Adam Geo. Nope, I banned the wrong Adam Geo. Slash ban Adam Geo one. All right. I'm just banning him for like 24 hours. I think we, <laughs> We just need like a little break from Adam from winning from shit. Like this is, cr that's impossible, bro. He should, Adam, I don't think he even watch me right now, but he should go buy a fucking lottery ticket, dude. Like that's, that's not even humanly possible at this point. Is he cheating? I don't know. It's perfect. Uh, like, I, I'm not kidding you, dude. That, that is fucking crazy. Hacker? There's 300 people in chat. What did he win? Someone gifted a sweater to the chat and he, he won. 
I'm bringing Adam with me when I buy my next car. I don't even know how to unban Adam. That's the crazy thing here. I really don't even know how to unban him. He's just banned now. Hello, Alex. <laughs> that is crazy. Unban Adam Geo One. There he's. It's unbanned. There. Okay, he's unbanned. I think. I think. I'm not even sure. At this point, I don't even care anymore. It's crazy, dude. I'm wheezing. You monster. <laughs> it's fucking crazy to me. Tabithy, thank you so much for the prime. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. That is fucking crazy. Did it work? Did Adam get unbanned? Adam G01. He's probably lucky it didn't work. That is fucking wild. It's so crazy to me. Poor Adam, he's gonna go lay on top of all his free stuff, right? Adam chat still loves you. That is crazy, bro. Jeez. Ain't, ain't no way, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Let me, let me message him. Did unban work? That's nuts. I got nothing to say, man. Love you, Adam. Couldn't have hoped for a better winner. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Alex, for the cycle eight, do you think an aluminum plate would be good for clack? For cycle eight? Um, what did I end up using? PC? Only if you get all the weights. I don't think the aluminum one will be, um, I don't think the aluminum one will be super good on this board. I would just stick with the PC one, if I'm being real. I think this already has like a good clack to it. Aluminum might be a smidge brighter, but I just think it might be metallic-y and resonant. I've lost all respect. Sorry, this is absolutely rigged for money or ratings. I'm not sure which. I won't be silent. Just saw it live. <laughs> Damn, are you being serious or not? I can't tell. Main, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate it. Join. Uh, that's an old Aisha Curry tweet. Oh, for what? For what happened? I don't even know. Nope. Adam is still banned, guys. I guess, I guess he's not very lucky. Oh, let me go unban him. Give me one moment. Let me go unban him. <laughs> so stupid, man. Oh my god. Uh, fucking wild to me, dude. Jeff, can you unban him? I can't seem to. I can't seem to do it. It doesn't not like. There's nothing working for me. Can you do that for me? Can I? I would appreciate you. Uh, where the fuck is my last? Here it is. After her husband Stephen Curry was or Stephen Curry was rejected from the game. Oh, really? Thank you, Jeff. Adam, if you're here now, he's back. Adam, can you do us all a favor? Can you go buy a lottery ticket um, with all of our names on it? Everyone here in chat? You can exclude me if you hate me, that's fine. But I think you should do it for everyone here in chat. We would all appreciate it. Just put all of our names though. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, go do that. You've literally won a thing from every single giveaway humanly possible since you joined this community. It's crazy. I have made the full mistake to give to a member. I thought I meant to give this sub to a channel, but in the end it was well worth the money for this laugh. Bought my own hoodie out. Thank you, Esteban. <laughs> you, uh, message me afterwards, dude. Esteban, if you don't mind messaging me on Discord, I, I, can, I can help you out with something too. That is crazy. Thank you, Esteban. I appreciate it, though, man. That's funny, though, bro. Uh, after the next keyboard giveaway, Adam, I'm going to be real with you, dude. I think if I let you in on the next keyboard giveaway, I think no one in this chat will like me anymore. I'm pretty positive if you're allowed to participate in the next big giveaway, no one's going to like me. Just being transparent, my guy. We will, we will riot. You are worth every penny, Alex. So is Adam. Thank you, Esteban. I appreciate that, man. Uh, let me get a 6.25U wire. Because I, uh, 
I, I need one. Where are all my wires? Let's see, let's see. Those are seven U's, that's not seven U, and hold on. Am I out of 6.2 plus? Ain't no way, dude. All right, let me just get one from this. I think this is the right size. It is perfect. Yeah, I have everything pretty much prepped for it. I'll give you guys the list probably on Sunday, but the day before. So I think Sunday's the 14th, right? <clears throat> Adam is the only one. Wait, Adam is only worth the one penny? True. Nah, Adam's a nice guy. Adam, uh... Adam is just very lucky, apparently. Am I going to keep life? Um, I am not going to keep life. I'm gonna be honest, guys. Everything's been very expensive lately, and um, just ran into a lot of stuff where it's like you know, things cost a lot of money these days. So I'm just gonna take it a little slower. <laughs> Taking it a little, little slower here. It's uh. A little tough. I will be your designated sub counter, Alex. Thank you, Zany. I think we shouldn't have a problem this time now that I kind of understand how it works, but also, main, thank you again for the prime. Tab, if you thank you for the prime as well, I appreciate you guys. Slow mo to stop and smell the roses. Yeah, I mean, that's what I need to work on. That's actually a, a very good point. I really need to work on slowing down with, with everything that I've been doing, if I'm being real with you guys. I feel like a lot of us suffer from that, though. We all kind of like. It's very go, 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 and you kind of stop slowing down and just like don't appreciate things. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, the Novel Keys meet. Oh man, I feel that. Manic, how have you been lately? You been good? Yeah, it's, it's tough though, because you want to slow down, but then you feel guilty. Like, dude, yesterday, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, at around six o'clock-ish, I stopped working, which is, of out of the norm for me I usually go until like nine and then uh i play video games and i was tired and uh i felt very guilty for it hard to stay motivated recently not sure what's that about so, it's summertime manic if it makes you feel any better it's a summertime thing i've noticed you kind of want to be outside you don't want to be motivated to like you know do work indoors and uh Regardless of how fun that work is, sometimes you just want to like go explore, like, you know, you want to go be social, like, I feel like it's that summertime vibe, you know, like that, that summer season vibe, you know, I think that goes for a lot of people. I'm not saying that's the reason why, but because a lot of people, even in the keyboard space, Manic, like, they go out and they go do things. So I work outside, so I want to be inside when I'm not working. Yeah, could be the opposite too. It actually tracks, especially here. Lots of stuff to do and see, but I'm still so much work to do. That's kind of how I've been feeling. Like you just want to go do things, but it's kind of tough some days. All right, these are all good. Let's put this in. Other way around. For anyone wondering, we are doing this not the traditional way. I'm not putting the silicone because you know what? I think that's a big miss on their part for only making the silicone mount it. We're gonna go and explore putting in some gaskets of our own here. If you had to choose between keeping the universe or keeping me, uh, what would you choose? Obviously you. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like if you guys, there was ever a keyboard versus anyone here in this chat, I would not choose the keyboard. I could care less about the keyboard. It'd be you guys, you guys were more important. Come on. The switches are pretty. Yeah, the only thing about these switches, which I'm a little disappointed in myself for not catching while I was doing them, is the films weren't 100% on these. So with that being said, I got to be a little careful on inserting these guys. Yeah, these are the ones I did the other day. I tested these this morning, just a few in another board, and I was like, ooh, these actually sound pretty decent. So, 
pretty excited to give these a, a fair shot today. Oh my gosh. Who's got a nicer bottom, Alex's keyboard? Huh? What are these switches? Polar Pandas. Uh, what films do I use? I exclusively try to just use Desky films. Today was a different film, but it was the same material as Desky. But uh, the Desky films I find are the most forgiving films out of all the films I've tried. These are, yep, the YOK branded ones. These are really old switches that I had in my collection for a while. I don't know if you guys can see the YOK on it. Where did you find these? So I have like a jar, like it just, I, not a jar, I have a basket. I don't have a lot of stuff, just so you guys understand. Like I just have a few, but there are some really old switches. Like I have some really old Duroc like T3s like or L3s and L4s and stuff like that. I just bought stuff back in the day and like I just never used any of it. So I probably have around five or six sets of like 90 um, switches that just have never seen the light of day. But just so everyone knows, it's not a lot of stuff. It's just some. I actually don't, I, I try to use as much of the stuff that I buy as possible. Although I think filming these is a terrible idea. So we're gonna have to be a little careful pushing these guys in. Hello. Should we grab our little, so we don't kill our thumbs, we're gonna use this guy, switch pusher. The slapping noise is crazy. Oh, this guy, pushing these in. <clears throat> At least we know they're gonna be a good fit in here. Might be a bit tight though. It's okay. It is okay. This one here might not be a good one. Move this to the side. It's the cops. A lot of ambient noises that happen here in the stream. What do you guys normally use for films? I feel like deskies are pretty much everyone I know's first choice. But a lot of people still use the uh, TX films. I just bought, uh, filmed in Lube Nixies and noticed when removing some keycaps, half the switches came with. Uh, may have to try finally soldering. Dude, soldering is such a nice thing for keyboards. Although the Kelowna ones, those are pretty good too. Those are the, like the plasticky ones, right, Meme God? When's my uh, guide dropping? Probably sometime next week. Um, I have a kind of a kick in the ass to do it now because uh, Novel Keys needs some content for a Switch article. So I already had it done. I just need to take the photos, which I did. I just need to edit them now. So there's like a, I'm not saying that I didn't want to do it in the first place, but sometimes tutorial stuff, I, I fall down this rabbit hole of making, wanting, wanting to make it perfect. It's not always possible. I did just use Desky Films for the first time the other day and really liked them. Dude, they're so nice, man. I'm, sur I'm surprised you haven't used them until now. Well, what's, what's been your go-to before that? TX Films, TX Springs, but I do question how I ended up doing this stuff every time I loop slash film switches. I get that. I get that so much, man. I totally understand. Oh my God. So what I'm experiencing right now is exactly why not every single switch needs to be filmed. By the way, I can already tell I bent one pin. It's okay. I'll fix that afterwards. Let's make sure it's bent. So sometimes what happens is the, the film pushes the legs further apart from the housing. And then it creates kind of this like imbalance when pushing them in. So you get these like really tough switches to snap in, which you don't want ever. Uh, it's not like it's a good thing to have this happen. There's no benefit to this. I feel like it's more of a, a negative, if anything. Because sometimes the plate will be so tight that you'll end up breaking and damaging the switch, which you don't want either. 
do uh, like that Durek has all kind of colors, though. Durek, Wuche, TX, Deskies. Oh, for the films? Wait, Durek has films? Are they just like plastic ones? Oh, okay, so the HTV PVC ones. That was a big thing when those came out too. The plate fork may be one of the best purchases for sure. Bro, the plate fork? There's nothing better in this hobby in terms of buying tools than the plate fork. Literally, legitimately the best one. Do you feel like the SK, SWK ripples need to be lubed? They're bone dry? Don't the ripples come like lightly oiled or lightly lubed? Um. If they're bone dry, Lego, I would put a little bit. Maybe oiled? I'm pretty positive they come like lightly oiled. I don't know if they come with 205 on them, but. I just got a plate fork with my Salvation PCB. Like I said, legitimately one of the nicest things you can get yourself in this hobby is a plate fork. Oh. Let's see, this particular leg of this switch might be problematic. Is there a big advantage you're putting switches on with the tool? Uh, what do you mean by that? Sorry, Free. Which tool are we talking about? This tool here? This is just so I don't hurt my thumb. That's it. Literally the only thing is just so I don't kill my thumb as I'm doing these because this is a bit of a tighter fit for these particular switches. That is the only advantage you're gonna get. I'm uh, amazed that fancy plate forks aren't a thing in this hobby. I demand copper and brass options. I feel like they probably won't be because you, I mean like, I feel like if you have a, sh a metal plate fork, it might damage your PCB. The plastic ones are, I think better for that. I feel like the metal might scrape it or something like that. A plate rake to replace the fork. Uh, I don't know, man. Should we make one? Uh, the switch pusher is low-key goaded for saving your finger fingers. Dude, it is legitimately the best thing for saving your fingies on a good day. So happy that I have this thing. Actually, what might help here? The amount of switches you install over time? Yeah. It's just really to help your fingers, that's it. We'll just do like this. We'll slightly push in the leg here. With a knife the other day. A fork with a knife. Hey, yo. This is a tip you can do, by the way, if you do have switches that the legs have expanded on. You can actually just push in the leg with like a tweezer. I don't really recommend it because these are probably gonna be a pain in the ass to remove afterwards, but it is a way that you can do these. It's the workaround. If I had switches this tight, I just uh, lube a different batch to be honest. That's totally fair. Some people don't wanna deal with this kind of stuff either. I don't think this is a plate issue. This is more of these switches are just they shouldn't have been filmed. That's my own my own issue here. They probably should have been not filmed actually at all. And this one here is not a good switch. Well, it is, but it's just not closing right. You got your workout for the day? Yeah, a little bit, huh? Here's a link to the big ass plate fork. 10 U wide? Dude. That is a crazy plate fork, dude. Yeah, dude, one day I'd love to get a 3D printer as well. That is, that is a down the road thing for sure. But yeah, it seems like it would be super fun to have one. One of the reasons uh, these switches don't go in easy is that they're not closed all the way. Yeah, I mean, that's what's happening with the films right now, like I said, it's my own, my own issue. I probably should have been more aware while I was doing this. 
Uh, to some degree, Yoshi. But if you already have something that literally will expand outwards, then... Like, if it's already perfect in tolerance, then putting that little piece of foam that... is not gonna help much. It's not gonna do it any, any favors, you know? Damn, it is humid inside the house today. That rain is, uh... I can definitely feel it already. Do you have the new Air Ordinary Labs cables to show off? I do! They're basically the same as what we've taken a look at already. A slight bit different just because now they have that Flemo connector on the front. So the same vibe. Alex Otra. Clark, thank you so much. I appreciate the Prime, dude. I hope you're having an excellent day today, dude. Okay, this one here is not liking us. I'm going to go see if the AC is on. One sec, guys. Because it is very hot here. Should help a bit. Margo versus Boop. The Margo is prettier in my opinion, but the Margo, its internals seem to be a bit lackluster as we're kind of seeing now. So we shall see. Oh gosh, now these are going in. Harsh maybe? I mean, yeah, we'll see as we as we continue here. Uh, vote for Tofu FA. What's happening? Also, thank you guys for, for being here and just hanging out. I appreciate you guys. I know it's a Friday night. I really do appreciate you guys. I hope everyone's been having a very good day today. Was I on this board last night? Love the back weight. It's a very pretty looking keyboard. The internals seem to be a little bit, I don't know, they're holding the board back immensely, I would personally say. But we'll see as we continue to build this. Uh, it's great to be here. Day has been tough. This is a highlight. Thank you, I appreciate that. Way too nice looking. Oh, the PCS? Yeah, that was a nice looking board. I have to return that actually. Keep forgetting to message the uh, Designer just send that back. They've been sent over shipping details. It's well past midnight here. I'm staying up for the vibes in the community. Thank you, Fit. Uh, it's been so long since I saw a thick bezel board and the PC bottom is so pretty. Yeah, it's crazy how many people really like those thick bezel boards. I always forget how popular they are because I'm personally more into like the really skinny sides than the fatter Forehead and chin. Mike, thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a, a lovely, lovely day today. And 19 months too, that's crazy. I came for the lo-fi music and keeps stay for the nice people. Thank you, Dave. That's very kind of you to say. Recently got some Nixies, didn't expect it to be so heavy stock. Oh, dude, they're so heavy. So, so heavy. I don't mind the stock spring some days, but... I'm the nice people who you are. <laughs> Freaking Adam, dude. Adam kills me. Adam, did you think Esteban? Profusely. Uh, spring swap is a military. Wait, is a military for me on Nixies? <laughs> what happened? I said it in chat, but I'll say it again. Please do. Uh, my daily driver has KTT King whites, so I'm not too used to heavy hitters. I personally am not into the heavy springs at all. Like, especially now, because I've been so conditioned to use the lighter springs, that when I do have a switch that's really, really heavy, I'm just not into it personally. Um, so this mean Adam can win a keyboard now since, I don't know, man. We have to really debate this. 
in my opinion, <laughs> even though it's not the right thing to do, part of me just wants to say, Adam, you're, you're kicked out of winning keyboards from now on. But we'll see. Poll? Should we do a vote? I've got Unikey spring swapped and lubed MX Blacks in my Encore and the springs are pretty light, to, uh, taking some getting used to. I mean, yeah, if you're going from like heavy to, to light as well, that's also tough. If you let me enter and I win again, I think it's God's will. If you win again, Adam, I don't think it's God's will at that point. I think it's just somehow you're rigging the system and uh, I will get to the bottom of it, all right? I'm also no longer a 60% fan, now a 65% fan, I'm trying to get rid of my QK60, but no one wants to buy it. Yeah, those uh, those particular boards in terms of like selling them can all be a little tough to sell just because there was a lot of them made. A little trickier for sure. We're just trying to get one to fit in here. Time him out every time when, when the raffle starts. <laughs> yeah, that's true, we could do that. We indeed could. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just try to repair these legs here and try to fix them. One sec, guys. If you ever need to like adjust them to, you can just pop off the tops and squish the legs together a little bit. Does help sometimes. But right now the film's backwards. finally and then this one we might be able to sneak in here alrighty we are good to go guys plate has been assembled so I'll take a little drink of water now comes the difficult part in trying to figure out how we can do the workaround, thank you Tamagotchi, for getting this mounted. So, first I kind of want to see how this needs to sit. Okay, so it does need to be raised. You can see the USB-C is kind of fallen down a little bit here, so we do need to raise this up. So we do need some gaskets on the bottom of this plate. Again, if anyone's just tuning in now, this for whatever reason, they have this beautiful looking keyboard, but they're forcing you to use a silicone mount. And I'm gonna be real with you guys, I, I really don't wanna use a silicone mount. I think this was a really, really odd decision to include this and make this the primary mounting and the only mounting system of the entire keyboard. Uh, if anyone's not familiar with how this usually sounds, it's usually very muddy sounding and bland. Um, doesn't really give the keyboard character, uh, and you know what? From a from a, lo a lot uh, a lot of points here, I think it's gonna really uh, turn a lot of people off from buying this. You know, if this was me right now, like deciding it, I'd make this a hard pass. But the cool thing about keyboards, and this kind of brings us back to what we used to do, especially here, is you can mod these things. I'm not saying you'd wanna buy this for this reason and I don't condone them designing with just silicone. I think it's a bit of an odd choice. Some people might love that. It's not for me though, uh, but it does have tabs here, which is weird, right? Like if you're gonna design it with the silicone mount, it almost makes it feel like these tabs. I know this is kind of support the silicone, but it almost kind of feels like you'd also give this its own way to mount this as well. So we're just gonna go find some foam and cut this up. 
I'm gonna see what I have here. So just give me like a minute, because I did not expect to do this. Actually, I don't really need a minute. I have all the, I know it says feet, but it's not just feet, it's gaskets too. The stack mount is the only option. Well, not stack. It's um, it's silicone that sits between the plate and PCB, Jeff. Just gonna see what I got in here. Maybe I got like a, a big thing of gaskets. Oh, I could use this. This might be perfect. Received my Neo 80 today. Did you already build it? Or are you you're waiting to build it right now? Could use this. This looks like the perfect for this. This horribly disappointing. I know it's such a beautiful keyboard too. I know it's so disappointing. I agree. That is funny that this and this match up perfectly. What thickness is the gasket? I have no idea, but I'm just gonna put a few down and see if this sits nicely inside the bottom. Um, so just bear with me as we do this, guys. Let this man cook. Thanks, everybody. Just bear with me as we get through some of this stuff, I promise. Yeah, actually, these gaskets are fitting nice here. It's silicone, it's a silicone system here. So this is what the, the, the in between the plate and the PCB looks. It's, um, I don't know a good way to kind of put this other than I think it's a little bit silly that KBD fans allowed this to kind of run with just this one very limited, almost in a lot of ways, I don't mean to sound negative about it, but it's a bit undesirable. Like not a lot of people care to have the silicone stack kind of gasket thingy in the middle. So Red Takes, thank you so much for a tier one for three months in advance. I appreciate that, dude. It's going for about 250. Can't remember the exact price point off the top of my head now, but. Again, I'm not saying this is exactly what you should do. I would, I would love for them to just, if this works, you know, like why not just, actually we're not gonna put this one here under the space bar. Why not just include a little pack of gaskets? I feel like it's a very cheap fix. Not even a fix, just a cheap mounting alternative that you could just include in the package. But we'll see. I hope this works. Yeah, if, again, if this works, then there should be no reason why they don't include some of these things here. Someone mentioned in chat that someone sold alternate gaskets for this keyboard at one point, so we'll see. Now I'm not putting top ones on just yet, but let's see. I think these need to be a smidge thicker guys on the bottom. So you can see they're not quite sitting nice. Does it need to be thicker? So double up on the bottom. Yeah, I think we do two layers on the bottom here. Okay. Looks like you use one, uh, one five or two mil gaskets. These are probably what, one mil each? I don't really have my measuring tape with me at the moment. Let's see, let's just put this one here on top of this one. It could be, but you never know. We could get this to work with uh, with an alternative mounting style here. Again, just let me let me play around with it. If this doesn't work, it doesn't work. What am I supposed to say? Okay, it's gonna double check. A few of them are doubled up here, but let's just see if that's enough clearance now for this. Almost. 
Although, I sort of feel like it should fit on this side. But <clears throat> Fisher Price. Oh no, this lines up. We should be good. We're good now. Lines up perfectly. With the two with the two gaskets on it. It's gonna bounce around a little bit inside the case, so we need some way to support this too. But let me just put a little strip of gasketing on the top just so we don't actually should we should we even bother? Does it need to have Mm, okay, we need to figure some stuff out here. Curious to see if this is going to sound hollow. I hope not. Okay, I am actually going to put the gasket underneath the space bars too, just so we don't have things bouncing up and down. But let's just put the rest of the gaskets on. Let's double up everything. I should have lots of these. I have like another pack of these too. We just need to have some faith, everybody. Just a little bit of faith here. I know, space bar gaskets, ew, but it shouldn't actually matter considering how plush these things are. These things are pretty thick. Fingers crossed. place where I feel like it might be a little dicey is underneath the USB-C. If this was a daughter board, oh, this would be insanely easy to get working correctly here, but that's the only place where it might get a smidge dicey, but I have, I have potentially a way to fix that. Which might just be putting a longer gasket along the edge here or something, just so it catches this and doesn't force its way down. Actually, let's do that right now. Then it can just sit like that. No daughter board? No, no. I mean, keyboard doesn't need a daughter board to sound good. You can have a good keyboard without one. We're almost there, everybody. Almost there. everyone uh maybe kv defense just had a bunch of K spare kvd 67 light pcbs i mean you know what i don't want to say i don't want to put it past them because maybe they had a bunch of spares but if so still rather lazy Better uh, than going to the landfill? I suppose, but they could have just sold them as spares, I feel. Oops. All right, so I think this should be good now. Or is it? I'm not sure. Let's see. Thank you, Makamura. I hope you're doing well today. It's just really getting this PCB to line up nice. 
with the uh, case here. Where's my tweezers? Thank you, thank you though, Makamura. No alignment pegs? Not really. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna screw it in like this for now. Let's screw it in and let's see how it is with just the gaskets on the bottom, because that's still a possibility to do. We don't need to put the gaskets on the top unless we hear some sort of top out sound, which we're gonna test for right now. <clears throat> What's the weight made of? Did it say on the website? I don't remember off the top of my head. Let's see. It does look like brass, but I just want to double check. Um, brass. Heat coloring of brass is achieved by heating the surface of the brass, causing it to undergo chemical reaction. Yes, it is indeed brass. Ooh, it is. It is so eerie looking outside because it's raining, but it's also like red outside right now. It's like a red orange outside. That is so eerie looking. Hoping something like this becomes possible with the Wooding HE aftermarket plates. I mean, that'd be cool. I mean, this just goes to show you there's lots of ways to build keyboards. Blood Moon? Kinda, almost looks like that. All right, let's put the feet on too. Which particular package did the feet come in here? Oh, here we go. Mother Nature x Alex. God damn, dude. Um, what they said is the process to treat it, result in each weight looking different. Yeah, I mean, that's really cool too. Again, they really nailed it with the aesthetic of this board. But my God, dude, they couldn't. Just even just like do something different with the internals here. I feel like it would have been so easy to do something so different for this. Because hear me all right. I know we already said this. The plate already has tabs. If you had to machine a bunch of new parts anyways for this, why not just utilize the different tabs on the existing plate? Even if the theory is that, you know, they had just lots of extra plates and PCBs. I feel like that would have been such an easy fix. Not even a fix, just an easy alternative. Like unless the idea was just to get rid of the silicone they had, but I mean, it's just silicone at the end of the day. Uh, I'm an inexperienced and I have a question. I have a Tofu 2.0, but I would like to convert it to a Wooting, leaving the case and keycaps. What should I buy? You would need to get the Wooting keyboard the entirety of the wooden keyboard. I don't know if they just sell the wooden parts separately, but in order to use all the features of an HE keyboard, you would need to do, they sell a module only? Okay. So yeah, you would need to get the uh, the PCB and the, uh... oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, you get the PCB, you get the switches you want for it. Uh, does it fit in the Tofu? I'm not sure. The only thing I know of is it fits in Universals. So I'm not 100% positive it'll fit in that particular board. All right, let's get some uh, keycaps for this. I don't know what I want to use today. I almost feel like I want to use olive. I feel like sloth is just something that is kind of a cop out on the bronze. Clagney could be cool too. That could be a, a fun little set for this. Let me see. I think I have Clagney on something. I just need to figure out what keyboard's on. So I have the, the case for Clagney here. I want sloth real bad. 
That means I would have to take Sloth off of my Ori. Should I do that? And I feel like it's the perfect set for the Ori. I don't have Copper, unfortunately. Copper would have been absolutely crazy for this. Uh, I want to see it on a mocha color. Okay, let me figure out what board I have Clemmy on. Oh wow, it's actually so pretty now. It's like, what the fuck? So random. What board did I have Clad me on? No, I don't remember, guys. Clad me, Clad me. Oh, I have it on that board. Okay, one second, I need to get it. It's kind of buried underneath something. Actually, Noir would be an interesting choice for this as well, but you know what? I have used Noir a few times in the last little bit, so... This board's fucking heavy. Wow, it's so pretty outside right now. I'm actually... I'm actually kind of enamored by it. it looks cool. One keycap from every set that I own? Oof, that's a toughie. I don't know how this is gonna sound. Could sound awful. Maybe we should have went with polycarbonate, but we'll see. Just right. No. This one. Um, I hope it sounds good. We'll see. Let me pull the keycaps on before we judge here. Looks delicious. I'm glad. These stems are a bit loose. <clears throat> what set is this? This is GMK Kaladni. You know what, I think this is a good choice. We could try foam sheets. I'm also down to take one or two of the, um, what's it called? Switches out to see if maybe different switches help this board. But we also would have to take it apart one more time because perhaps I need to mount it a little bit better. We'll see, we don't know yet. Uh, considering it doesn't sound amazing in regular silicone mount, was there people who built it in regular silicone, uh, Cabo? I'm assuming yes, right? Clackbait, it sounded really bad IMO, Sterling did. Hmm. Do you have a link to their, uh, I would actually love to see that. I want to see what they ended up coming up with. Um, I can already tell this is a bit light in sound. But again, maybe maybe it's just our switches. Sound it dead AF and stiff. I can imagine that with the uh, sounds hollow. I wonder if this weight being on the outside is a bad choice. Because sometimes the way that deflects sounds is a little bit different. This does feel a bit stiff, even with those gaskets we put in there. Which makes me wonder if we put too many. I'll have to double check. Um, I think these guys. Outside the case is the KBD way. Yeah, I would love for them to really kind of look into that a little bit because if you kind of make it a pass-through way, you typically get the, that break in sound from the inside, but he did this uh, build. Oh, he did it stream, I guess. I thought it was a YouTube video. The arc has many, uh, you put it in, it feels good. 
Well, we can see. We shall see. I mean, it's something. I have to take off my headphones for this. I'm not gonna write it off yet. You never know. I still think this has potential. I like the enthusiasm, Adam. I like it. I'm not, I'm not enthusiastic, but like I'm hopeful. It's a little dead sounding, huh? Oh, hold on, I wanna see this. Hold on. I have fucking ads, 30 seconds of ads, Jesus Christ. Okay, let me wait for the ads. We, we still might be able to change something. I wanna put a thin layer of something on the top here. Cause I can see the potential. Spacebar's awful right now. Let me actually tune the spacebar smidge. The Pavlov is not bad. It's actually, it's a pretty good sound signature, but. All right, let me see Sterling's. Fuck, this is so sad for this board, man. Oh. Nah. That's, I think that's actually worse with the silicone inside. Dude, KBD fans, what is this dude? Why not just use a normal mounting style? Okay, maybe it was just tuning of the stabs? It's still rattling a bit, but I think I know why. Okay, I'm gonna play around with it a bit. I don't know if you guys wanna see a modding stream, but it helped like 20%. Oh, wrong bit. We're gonna get there, guys. I'm gonna get there somehow. Somehow I'm gonna get there. I don't know how, but we're gonna get there. The middle row is meh. Everything's meh on this board right now. Which is so unfortunate, because visually this board is everything I like. Cook, Alex Cook. Maybe there's some like secret good fix that I need to figure about. Imagine just tiny holes giving us top mount as an option. I know. I'm just surprised they didn't do that, man. Again, one of the prettiest designs that they have, by far. Out of all the KBD fan stuff I've seen in a long time, the prettiest. So, something sounds good about this. Force break maybe? Try top gaskets. I'm also gonna put in a thin top gasket on this too, yes. Let's go back into our feet case. Let's go back into this, bit, this little guy here. I have these, these like little pieces of silicone that we can try. They're a bit denser but that should allow us to put something on the top here. And they're a, li a little bit thinner as well. However, do we want to use, actually, you know what? Let's experiment first with a thicker piece of foam for these. Let's experiment with that first. 
Here, I got these gaskets. Oh, you want to just play around with one to like play around for the sake of playing around with it? I mean, that sounds fun too, but. Let's see, guys. This feels like I'm watching a movie where the main character is trying his hardest, hardest to win. I mean, it kind of is. This is a, a desperate battle right now. And then we'll also force break it because I feel like the f it being not force broken is probably not doing it any favors. So we'll force break this as well and see if that helps. Alex versus seashells? A little bit. I hope you guys are enjoying this, by the way. I hope this is like fun to watch and not boring. I'm, uh, I'm a little disappointed by this board, but I don't know. I've been really, I've been really happy with KBD fan stuff lately. So this is a bit of a, a very big sad moment for me. I like that color combination. It makes me hungry for chocolate and coffee. I've had two coffees today. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want a third, but I'm trying to behave right now, dude. I'm really trying to just slightly behave. I'm not going to put one above the USB-C here, just so we can get this slotted in nicer. Three coffees? How do you sleep drinking coffee this late in the day? I mean, I, I haven't had one this late in the day, to be fair. I only had one... When did I have one? Fuck, when did I have one? I had one... That sounds good there. I had one before dinner. That's what it was. But way before dinner, I think we, I ran home and I had one. Actually, we're gonna force break this too. So let me get something else out here. I'm not sure if I have any of the things needed for force breaking in here, or if that's in another container. Checking through my stuff right now. I have these extra things from the Envoy. Or not Envoy, the Encore that I might just cut up and use. Might be a tight fit now. Uh, I've noticed in your build you tend to re you tend to favor top mount with PC plate or gasket with aluminum. Am I right? Uh, yep, that is usually my preference. I typically find that that particular setup makes me feel better about the builds that I do, if that makes sense. Alex modding care package incoming. Honestly, it's a really good idea. I should do something like that. Okay, let's do this one thing at a time. Your care package must come with an orange bag. Yeah, Logan, sorry. Um, why aluminum and not other materials? With gaskets, I find gaskets to be a little bit more softer in sound signature. So my tend to prefer gaskets that, um, or plates that give it a bit more of a punch, which is why people usually say, like when they look at my build streams, like, oh, Alex is all sound the same or something. Cause I tend to like a certain combination of things that I feels just work. That tends to be my preference.
Uh, just bought a cycle eight with all brass and aluminum plate. Hope it sounds great. I hope so too. Good luck with building it too. Have fun. All right. All right, let's screw it together now. Always the same, always so good. Thank you, man, I appreciate that. Very kind of you. Such a pretty color, kind of chocolatey. It is, right? It's a very chocolatey keyboard and I quite like that as well. Although, small little bits and pieces of this board piss me off a little bit. USB-C not slightly aligning here. I wonder why that is. One sec, guys. Regarding street photography, have you ever gone out with someone to shoot together? Uh, a long time ago. In more recent years, since I've gotten more like, I don't know, into my style now, no. But a long, long time ago, yes. not sitting nice. Hold on guys, one more thing I'm gonna do here. Uh, you do have a remarkable skill for making most keyboards sound the same and if they don't, they're bad. I wish I was able to do that. <laughs> Thanks man. Uh, just practice, I guess. Try putting the PCB into the top and the bottom to align the USB-C. Could do that. But I think I'm gonna do one, oh, what the hell, was that me doing that noise? I'm gonna do one thing here, that's just, adding this piece here. There we go, that really helps. I just put a piece of a uh, thicker plastic, like with an adhesive, so a foot basically from another board. That should help a lot. Uh, definitely one thing I'm trying to do more, keeping an eye open and practice more. One of the goals is to be as consistent as me. Thank you, dude. I appreciate the very, very, very kind words. Yep, perfectly aligned which is good. We got that perfectly done. How do you feel about carbon fiber and FR4 plates? I like them, but I think they share a lot of traits sound signature wise. Although I think I'm usually the odd person out saying that. Thank you, Pug. I appreciate the kind words. And also Alex OP, thank you so much for the tier one. It's getting there. It's not 100% yet though. It could be the switches. We could swap out two switches to see what they sound like when we swap them out. So let's see what they, what they would be if we take them out here. Let's just put in some obscuras. They're long poles. Maybe this is just a switch diff. Maybe we just need something long pull in this. Yeah, so the lighter switches, which these are a bit lighter. But dude, this is long pole and this does not sound like long pole. Okay, what I'm gonna do, the mods sound great now. 
It's still somewhat muted, I agree. Very long pull to you. Sounds a bit uh, muted. I really want this to sound good because I actually really like this keyboard. So bear with me, everybody. We are just gonna quickly take this off. Actually, I'm gonna try to make sure I take this off in like a good fashion here. I'm gonna swap out the switches with Obscures because I already have Obscures mod it. But I'm just gonna do it to the alphas. So I don't think I have that much done yet. I'm, I'm still missing some. It's doing sicko mode. A little bit, huh? Just a smidge. How reliable is the catch ball system? I have not had it do anything weird. Plus, I don't I don't think it's a realistic case of you grabbing your keyboard and like, you know, putting a little pressure. I have had some people tell me that it it's fallen on them or whatever. But again, I think that's a very rare scenario. Also, probably not a good idea to uh, use the hot swap board while we're, uh, you know, not supporting the sockets, but it's fine. Today is an exception. So nice. Wow, oh wow, oh, wow, A A I I I A. how does this work? <laughs> Thank you so much for the tier two, man. I appreciate that, Cavi. Jeez, dude, that's funny. How does this work? I think the keyboard should come with the catch ball system and screws as a backup. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I don't know how that would be implemented though. I mean, no, I, I tried these on another board and these sounded like great switches, but in this particular board, because it's very muted, even the long pole switches, I, I am sort of feeling they're having a hard time coming through if I'm being real. So we're gonna just switch them for long pull switches. But I think we've, for the most part, sort of saved this board. Uh, and it didn't really take much other than force breaking, which is a fairly common thing nowadays and pretty easy to do. You can even do it with tape technically. Um, and putting some gaskets in, which begs the, not begs the question per se, but it really just, Makes me wonder why they didn't just include gaskets to begin with. Cause you know what? There's nothing wrong with a slightly muted board at all. Like there's nothing wrong with a slightly muted board. And if this clearly works with gaskets, then I would appreciate for them to put some gaskets in. We'll see. Let's put in our obscuras and let's see what this is gonna sound like with just the alphas. Do you think screws might be too long and too tight to make it mute it sound it? Oops, did I drop? Oh, I dropped an obscure switch. Uh, on this board, uh, I'm not too sure. I know I haven't screwed them all in yet, but we'll do it here in a second. There'll be another test we do. Gotta push hard enough until the PCB bottoms out on the case. <laughs> I'm gonna pass on that one. The space bar, I think we need to go in and remove the gaskets underneath the space bar, if I'm being real. I think those are kind of making the space bar feel a little bit muted and stiff. But we'll see. Is he replacing the switches while the board is still installed? Bad practice? Bad practice. Very bad practice, but I'm being lazy right now. For the sake of... Uh, the sake of the board already being nicely in place right now, bad practice, 110%, not even gonna deny it. Don't do what I'm doing. Like I mentioned before, I should never be doing this, but uh, I'm doing it today anyways. It's a test unit anyways, so uh, I'm not too concerned. <laughs> Can y'all help me understand why? Oh, why is it bad practice? See these hot swap sockets in there? If one of these pins happens to not be perfectly aligned and then Let's just say me, I'm just like, it's not going in. And I use Super Saiyan level five fucking power to press that in. Well, then I have the, I risk the, uh, the socket being detached from the PCB. And when that happens, you pretty much ruin the uh, PCB. Shake my head, not level 9,000. I'm not that strong, Adam. 
not quite there, you know what I mean? But Kavi, thank you again for that sub, man. I appreciate the tier two, bro. So it's just bad practice because you might damage something. But that's it. Uh, yeah, plate can also get shifted for sure. There's, there's a bunch of reasons why you don't want to do this. But again, I'm just doing it because we're on stream today and just for the sake of getting this done right now. All right. I might still go in here, so who knows? Let's just see what it sounds like now. A uh, loss is definitely a lot better, but not quite there. Stylistically stunning, but why they didn't put more thought and effort into the mounting is mind blowing. Agree, 1000%. Uh, they could have had a home run, but they skimped out, and at the end of the day, it hurt the audi board's audience. That is a spot on description of kind of our summary of the board today lackluster internals what kills me is the internals look like they have room to be gasket mounted and they didn't do that so all right Just change the space bar too. A lot better. Maybe wrong switches for this, unfortunately. Not much of a difference. Let me actually put something else in here. Alex, save this board. Again, I don't think this is much of a, we'll use a cherry switch. I don't think this is much of a, a you know, a stretch having KBD fans just include some gaskets that work on this. If we got this working today with random gaskets, okay, almost there. I'm not 100% happy with it yet. Maybe it was intentional so the modding aspect of the hobby is brought back. Hey, you know what? I'm loving the way you're thinking, Loom. That is such a wholesome way to think. I love that, dude. Is this board worth saving? Style-wise, this is why I'm putting so much effort into figuring out ways to make this better. I like the style of it a lot. It's very me. But, um, yeah. I don't think this is a lot of work for KBD fans to kind of rectify, and I think that's maybe the wrong term here. It's not that using silicone's irredeemable, but I do feel like more people would appreciate this project had they included something like these gaskets here. It, it makes no sense why I can get this working with a few gaskets and they can't. You know what I mean? I am gonna remove the gaskets sitting underneath this space bar entirely. One and two. Let's put those there. Encore copper sold out, bruh. Oh, it already sold through. That's pretty wild. So that in less than 30 seconds. God damn. Expect uh, nothing less from the copper encore. I missed my reminder. What happened, Almond? I lucked out and got a copper encore in the first run. Encore is a nice board. There's been a lot of um, mode collab stuff. Happened three minutes ago. Oh, did it? Three, oh, it's at nine o'clock? I thought they did it at nine in the morning. All right, I should 
should screw in the rest here too, but. A little bit better. Let's screw in everything in here and we'll turn the music off and give this as kind of like last hurrah here, you know what I mean? I feel like the Encore did so well, I can't imagine they would run it back. Or they wouldn't run it back. It'd be nice if they did. Should try Nixie's. Uh, I'm not gonna switch swap it again, but I will tell you I probably will end up... Think, I have Nixie's prepped as well. I did a lot of switches over the last few days. But we can try a Nixie switch as the space bar here instead of a hyper leg. I do agree, maybe the Nixie's the way to go. I think Matthew mentioned he had other configurations that he didn't get out. That'd be cool to see. Are these Nixie's? Yeah, these are Nixie's. Lubed and filmed chair Nixie's. Okay, so this is our last hurrah with this. Spacebar is still a bit flat here. It's still stiff feeling too, which is unfortunate. It sounds a lot better from when we started though. It's still not 100% of the way there for me. I'm gonna try one more different space bar here. Maybe we go just back to the Obscura. Or we go with an HMX switch. Let's see we can do two more space bars here. It's a beautiful looking keyboard, but... Obscura is definitely better. Let's try an HMX switch. We can try the EVA switch. I don't have a Zinhai lying around anywhere. But these are pretty bright. It definitely has a bit more of a sound profile now. The board's okay now. It's nothing spectacular sound-wise. I would urge them to go back to the, uh, I mean, okay, if you're gonna go for a silent build, then go for it, grab this board, but. Do I have any Sunset Gleams lying around? I don't think I do. I don't think I have, I mean, I have a, a Curry switch we can try. And then, do I have any other HMX switches lying around? I have a tactile switch and that's it. Um, we can try this. I'm not the biggest fan of this. I feel like they need to rethink their strategy going forward with this board and future projects uh, that are utilizing this. It's, it's lacking in a few departments. It's lacking in, oh, the curry switch sounds great on this. Oh, that just brought the board to life again. Oh, that's usable to me now. I really like this now with the curry switch. It's still sharp. Okay, so that sounds really good with the curry switch. However, it doesn't really take away from the fact that they're if, I mean, we just saw Captain Story and then someone said clackbait as well. They had utilized, um, I guess, this silicone piece, which I'm kind of glad we didn't go this route. I really am glad. I feel like this is the worst route possible. 
Um, but I do urge them to go back to the drawing board and not include something like this, not force people to use the silicone. Obviously it's possible that we could have just used gaskets and if they would have just included some sort of gasket mounting system or altered the plate in some sort of way that it allowed some sort of gasket to slot in there. I mean, what they could have done is they could have made a silicone sleeve that could have just fit over the two gaskets and pushed on and been the gasket for this particular board. I feel like there's tons of ways they could have gone about alternative measures to this piece of silicone. It's a beautiful keyboard. It's, like I said, my favorite keyboard that has come out visually from KBD fans. Like this is gorgeous. This is so pretty. And you can tell they put a lot of work into this and I really, really like it. But all that effort on the exterior was not translated into the interior. And it's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate that that wasn't translated into making the mounting system um, just not a piece of silicone that fit in between the plate and PCB. It is really pretty though. And if you're willing to put the extra steps in, if they don't end up including something like all the gaskets that we did today, and I mean, you can probably get a decent sounding board out of this. This doesn't sound bad to me at all now. In fact, I kind of like it with all the stuff that we did. Is it worth your time doing that? You know, maybe not. Um, maybe there's tons of other boards and there is tons of other boards that you don't need to do all this extra steps. If you wanted a project because you liked the way this looked, sure. On another note, uh, someone I just mentioned this too and I was gonna mention that as well. The PCB, KBD fans has this habit of sticking PCBs that just have one fixed layout. I think they need to kind of go back to the drawing board there too and just make a PCB with some different mounting options. I don't think it's that hard to do. Again, I know they're running off a PCB that's been in circulation and they've had for quite some time, but it's a gorgeous board, it really is. I really like the way this board looks. It is so, so pretty, but it's not quite there when being like the best board it could be, you know? If the price point was very different, then sure, buy a board and mod it. I mean, that's true too, Bernsey. You know, when you're looking at a board that's 250 plus dollars and you have to kind of sit there and do your own mods to it, it might be a turnoff for a lot of people and it probably is a turnoff for a lot of people. Uh, I can't help but feel nostalgic seeing you try everything to make this board sound good. I know it's been a long time since we've had to do that because I feel like a lot of boards these days have had their, not shit sorted out per se, but I'll say that. But there's definitely like a call back to um, maybe some some older times and having to mod things. Really, in, I'm really kind of sad about this. I mean, we got it sounding good, which I'm really happy. But I am I mean, I'm a bit disappointed that it's not a little bit more modernized in terms of what we normally use these days. I mean, we got it sounding good though. I'm I'm very happy with the current sound signature. But I do hope we get more mocha colored boards though, yeah. Again, my thing to KBD fans, I think you have a winner on your hands. What you need to do to make it a winner, instead of thinking it's a winner, give people the, the gaskets included in the box. You know, like go back to the drawing board, figure out the gaskets, exactly what we did here really, and just include those in the box. And then you get two mounting styles. I don't think that's the most difficult thing in the world. It's just some, some, or even silicone. You could do silicone too. Might work better with silicone kind of tab gaskets as well. Yeah, could work either way. But um, that's the solution to fixing this is just add some sort of extra gaskets. The tabs are there on the plate. They're there, they work. We've clearly proved that. It's just, uh, the bottom case looks like it's got slots for the gaskets. It has slots for this. You can see on the, you know, it has slots for this guy. Anyways. Damn, I, I, I will admit, I, I was really, really head over heels over this design. And I was really hopeful this would be better. I feel like this looks great though. It, it's a good looking keyboard. The small, the side bezels are small, which I like. Has that thicker forehead and chin, which I really like. It's nice. They they nailed it on that section, but somewhat 
very much so dropped the ball in the internals here. I am happy we got it to sound this good though. Here are those new ordinary labs cables. Someone asked about them. So they're that silicone kind of shell here. And then you have that connector here. They're still a little bit short, which is a bit unfortunate. I would have liked another foot on these because they're, they're not that really that big. You guys can kind of see they're not even arm's length. Like I don't have to stretch my arm out all the way. I don't really how to show you guys this very well, but not quite there. But uh, they are very nice. If you have a shorter run, these are great cables. If anything, this was a fun stream. I ha I'm happy you guys enjoyed it. I um, I hope this makes decision making processes a little easier for this board. Maybe, you know, maybe you guys end up really liking this. Who knows? I can only imagine the disappointment of someone who is perhaps not as experienced as you, hoping to get a good sound of this board. Yeah, and that's why I really hope they include the the extra gaskets for this. If they did, and we got the gaskets in, and this sounds amazing with the gaskets. Dude, this, this is a winner. Like, this is 100% a winner, but it's not 100% in my books right now. First time ever seeing Alex mod a board. Back in, I hate saying this, because it sounds like I'm I'm an old ched at this point, but like back in the day, that's what we had to do for basically every single keyboard. Every board, like when we started streaming, needed some sort of like fixing up, tweaking, modding. It was a, it was a thing that we did a lot, like back in the day, but it's okay, Unc. Oh my God, dude. Techie him. This guy called me uncle. That's crazy. Old man. Okay, they're buddies. Back in my day. Okay. I knew this would get some... Uh, they should sell the Margo upgrade kit. No, they should include it. i to plug it in, though. I'm not sure if I broke the USB-C connector. Oh, no, I didn't. It's still working. All right. Well... Thank you guys. I just want to also say thank you for everyone who's purchased any of the uh, the merch as well. I, I seriously can't thank you guys enough. Thank you guys for everything. Um, you guys are wonderful. Alex, you sometimes do sound like you yell at clouds, so it's... <laughs> I mean, dude, sometimes I do. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I am that kind of guy. All right, though, guys. I hope everyone has a good rest of their night. Um, I appreciate everyone for being here today. Uh, let's go find someone to raid. All is well and thank you for streaming on my days off. You make it more relaxing. Thank you, dude. Thank you for being here. Thank you, dude. Uh, there's RGB. Thank yeah, you for but being here. Let's turn this off. There's RGB in this board, but uh, not that it matters. Well, I mean, even in the polycarbonate one, it does. But on this particular unit, not right now. Doesn't matter one bit. Um, let's go raid Dutch. Or actually, who else? Is someone else streaming right now? I think he's almost done. He's done. Uh, let's just go raid. Dutch is done. Is anyone else doing keyboards? Yeah, but Dutch is he's like literally done now. Let's just go raid. I don't know who we're raiding. Let's go raid my old old friend Ashley. We went to. Uh, well, not that we went to high school together, but... Is someone else building keyboards? My friend of no one else? Let's go raid your friend! We can say that Bourbon sent... Bourbon sent us here. Alright, guys. I hope you're having a good night. Take care, everyone. I'll see you guys Sunday. Um, I'm not going to be online tomorrow. Actually, maybe I'll be online tomorrow. I still have to loop a few more Obscura switches. So maybe we'll just do another loop stream tomorrow. I don't know. But I'll be online Sunday with another keyboard build. And the next week, dude, next week we're loaded up on builds again. I think we're doing like five or six again. So this week here is a bit more calm. But yeah, next week's crazy again. Sunday photos we'll do, if anything, tomorrow. But we'll definitely do them on Sunday. I see there's a lot now, so we'll finally do them. All right, guys. Bye, everyone. Tell them we say hello. And uh, see you guys later. Thanks for tuning in today. Love you guys. Bye-bye.